for the best. A um, few things. Last week you picked me up. I got to confess to you, when Kelsey Grammer's wife was on and you said, let's go to Ox, I was dead asleep. If the phone was on my chest. I well, it can happen. We leave a lot of people on hold. I'm sorry about that. Okay, Ox, what else is on your uh, mind? I want to tell you about Lisa. The reason Lisa is not with anybody, she's got big, real color, color lips. They what? Hang well, well, Lisa who? Lisa fucking Glasberg. Oh, Lisa G. Yeah. Why isn't she with anyone? She's got these big pussy lips that hang down like Bill Collins. <laughs> she has pussy How lips. How do you know this? Yeah, I mean, did you go out my, with her? My ex, my ex-wife and my sister seen her in the health club years ago <laughs> in the early 90s. And she's got these big, real colored lips. And she's probably, <laughs> she's probably embarrassed. Go in the bathroom with Robert. Robert, check it out. No, thank you. Ah, it's, uh, that's a terrible thing to say. Thank you. Well, check it out, Howard. You I'll ask that. Lisa if she has real cut lip pussy lips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. Thank hey, you. Where's Bigfoot? Where's Beetlejuice? Where's Eric? Uh, Beetlejuice. Gary. I got an update on Beetlejuice. What is happening with Beat? Well, uh, Beat wants to come in, and we're going to book Beat. You know, listen oh, to where. Got to go back to your roots, Howard. Big, get Bigfoot down here, man. We miss him. All right, let me answer your question. I'm going to give you a Beetlejuice right. update, and then we'll talk about Bigfoot. Right, well, Bigfoot's right. in Vermont. I know. And we try to space out his appearances. Also, it's difficult to get him down here. Oh. Okay. All right. So, um, You know, Beetle has to be accompanied. I got you got four of them. You should do once, uh, you know, a quarter Hold of Hold on. Minute. I'm going to give you an update if I can find it. I hear your pain, and I'm trying to address it. I it takes a lot I... to get beat here, but he's very normal. I don't. You know what? Global. I got a pile of fucking papers here. You can't find it? Well, it's from yesterday's show. But why don't you print that out for me, Jason? It would probably be quicker if you think about it. But uh, Yeah, I was wondering about Beetle myself. We haven't seen him in a long time. Well, I got a memo, an email rather, from um, Rich, uh, from Sal. Mm -hmm. Sal worked with Beetlejuice over the weekend. Oh, yeah? Really? And a bunch of things went down. and they, um, Yes, Beetle, part of the memo was... Beetlejuice wants to come back on the show. He misses us. He misses us, so we booked him already. He's coming in. All right, good. Um, here, here it is. Uh, since everyone wants to know when I'm with Beetlejuice, I just did a movie shoot with him. This is Richard. I mean, Sal. They're That's both. an amazing line in itself. He is alive and well and would love to be back on the show. We spent the weekend at the hotel. Here are some of the highlights. Beat watches the cooking channel all day. <laughs> At one point, he was watching a turkey being roasted on TV and said, man, that smells good. <laughs> you yeah. see, Beetle enjoys life so much yep. more than we do. He does. All his senses are <laughs> operating. Beat jerked off in the shower. Bobby, his manager, asked him if he jerked off, and Beat replied, yeah, but it was an accident. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, then Beat was hoping black people would not be in the movie. He said, I hate them gorillas. Beat thinks he's half Mexican and half Italian. Oh, God. So uh, <laughs> he's anti-black, even though he's black. Well, he doesn't know that. Beat also hates Obama. Well, he's black. Right. So we have to ask him about that. <laughs> Bobby told Beatle he had to do a commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sal stuck his dick through a box of chicken, and Beatle reached in and grabbed it. He got angry, punched Sal in the face. Oh. So uh, that were the highlights of the week. <laughs> Those were the highlights of the weekend. Sal wants guys grabbing his cock every minute. Well, he's a yeah, but why would you do that to Beat? Alone? Yeah, I don't like that. Sal, I don't like that. Leave Beat alone. Poor Beat. He's got enough problems. Yeah. Sal, he outsmarted Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> he feels so superior. He feels like Edison <laughs> yeah. or Einstein well, when he's with Beetlejuice. What did Sal get on that IQ? Just like an 80 something? I mean, you I know. I think he broke the 90s. Did he break the 90s? Yeah. 102. He did a 102. Oh, 102. 102. Okay. Wouldn't it have been great if, like, Beetle just ripped that fucking dick out of him and ate it? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the best. Wow. You're, you're claiming your sister. Knows Lisa from the gym, and she. Was oh no, they seemed uh, changing in the early nineties in a health club downtown, and it was my ex-wife and my sister. Yeah, and they. If we bring in a police sketch artist and they describe the pussy lips, <laughs> could they draw that? Uh, I doubt it, but. Uh... <laughs> Is that really a true wrong. story, Ox, or are you making yeah, something up? That's what they said, man. What can I say? They came home and they said, we just saw Lisa Glassberg. 
Yeah. Naked, and she had veal cutlets this, hanging from her pussy lips. This is That's one ridiculous. <laughs> Poor Lisa. So maybe. Do you maybe believe those, him? No. Maybe oh. they stretched it out a little bit. Who knows? Like a. Uh, where's Lisa? Is she here? Okay. All right, good. Lisa will address this. <laughs> Lisa I mean, might have to show me. Yeah. Or show Robin at least. No. Um, why? Like, You're a girl. Like, you could look. Like Just, that big Nicole did. I was going to say, the, the the time I went in and looked at Nicole, I've never gotten over Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Lisa's a regular girl. All right, here comes Lisa. We'll get to the bottom of this. And, Gary, get me a sketch artist for this gentleman's sister and uh, ex-wife. Yes. And you're going to need a very big sketch pad. <laughs> Lisa, listen to this. This guy's claim. This is disgusting, actually. But b be honest. This guy's claiming <laughs> in the 90s his sister and his ex-wife were in a club with you or a gym. A gym downtown. They, you changed in front of them, and he's claiming your pussy lips are the size of veal cutlets. <laughs> Does it look like I would have something like that? No. Thank no. Thank you. And I don't go to a gym, and I never have downtown. Yeah, what was the name of the gym? New York Health and Rocket. Nope. Never went there. Ooh, yeah, come on. It was with that radio station you were with the black guys. Pussy. Nope. Pussy vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your, your pussy lips are not the size of veal cutlets? No. Uh, you don't want to show Robin? No. <laughs> Go in the private bathroom. No, no. Robin's the only one you're qualified. God forbid Robin. <laughs> What'd you say? God forbid somebody sees him naked, even Robin. He's such, <laughs> such a prude. You Lisa G is very lovely. Has a beautiful body. I know. Thank she, you. What a waste. Well, you might as well eat like a pig. Who cares? <laughs> it's true. No one's getting a hold of that. Right. Why not eat like a pig? Who cares? I know. The guy makes a point. God. <laughs> You, never, right. you, you gotta meet a guy. You, she doesn't care about meeting a guy. You care but, about meeting a guy? Here we go again. Do you care about meeting a guy? Do I care? It would be nice, but yeah. it's very frustrating. I feel stuck. Oh, shit. Oh, who shit. is this guy? I, Howard, can I talk to you now? Who is this guy? I come on to you all the time, good looking. Bro. I would set you up. You're such a fucking prude. You When's the last time someone sucked your tit? <laughs> this guy. Nah, it's not a question. You, don't yeah. you need my big fingers in your hole. That's oh, what you want. <laughs> oh, no. you know, Do you think that would fix her? I got nine inches now, but I'm the guy in the wheelchair with the MS. All right, yeah. Yeah, Lisa should right. go out with you. Yeah, there you go. I fucked every housewife on my route. Because Lisa sits around the house a lot, so you'd be perfect for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If she has, you you oh, sit around I more than me. I do. I should be in a wheelchair, too. <laughs> like ox. I'll people think I'm in a wheelchair. Viagra. People, people said to me, I didn't know you were a paraplegic. I go, no, I just don't leave my chair. <laughs> I'll take my Viagra Howard. I'll fuck her in the ass. That'll loosen her up. <laughs> Aren't you excited? <laughs> She's drooling. Uh. <laughs> he knows what you need, evidently. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so, Howard, yeah. Um, go to Gary Page 2 in the third column. Uh this is sort of interesting. Lisa says she's never been to New York Health and Racket, but she's the voice of New York Health and Racket. I yeah. haven't been to New York Health and Racket to work out. Well, you were naked in the fucking uh, locker. Oh, you just go there to get naked. How is it? See? Thank you for Why? calling the New York Health and Racket Club. I'm New York City's leading oh, team. You have been. I tell you about Manhattan's premier fitness been to leader for York over 30 Rackets. years. So you were But maybe... I haven't changed at a New York Health and Racket And no one saw your pussy lips? No. My veal cutlets. <laughs> you, you, no one saw your veal cutlets? No. Pussy. How big you clip? <laughs> You're in love with the rocks. Yeah, I, I love the fuck up. Yeah. Come well, on, right. Lisa. Give me a shot. Like Robin did to that guy in the bed. Come on over here, fucking sit on my face. I'll fucking eat you for three hours. And I will fucking you leave that. Why do you want her? According to you, her pussy lips don't fit in her panties. Right. <laughs> she had a special underwear constructor. Oh, right? All right. You wouldn't even care. Yeah, what's the name of that uh, surgery? A woman came on the show. A labiectomy. It's a vaginoplasty. <laughs> labiaplasty. Oh, vaginal. oh. What is it again? Oh, labiaplasty. Labiaplasty. She probably had it trimmed down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta, you gotta be careful. You're in a wheelchair. Her lips could get caught in your wheels, and then I don't care. Fucking out of it. I don't care. You don't care. I'll wrestle on the ground. Well, Lisa, Lisa, I believe Lisa. I'm sorry, Ox. Thank When's you. She's gonna get fucked again. What was the last time? What year? What year? You been on any dates recently? No, not in a while, right, Lisa? Is she a virgin? I have to think. <laughs> Is she a virgin? Do you miss yeah. sex? Yes, I miss the intimacy yeah. with someone, yeah. Sure. Shit, you're probably a virgin. 
<laughs> How about we get a doctor to go in there and see if she's a virgin? <laughs> okay. okay. I'll book one tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm Lisa, there. you're going to have to submit to a full gynecological exam on the air. But... <laughs> on Howard TV. Yeah. <laughs> on Howard TV. We're going to probably have to videotape it. Sorry. And Richie Wilson to hold the mic and... <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? You're it up. Wouldn't that be great, Rob? Like you go for your gynecological exam, and like Richie, whole crew. Richie and Brian <laughs> Phelan, and everyone like hovering over you. That'd be great. Oh Maybe my God. Gary, Gary could get shot with something in the face. Oh God. <laughs> Poor Lisa. When is the last time you've been on a date? Uh, a few months ago. All oh, right, maybe. but no, no romance. Set up, the set up date with cameras and shit. Come no. over here. I'll give you a fucking date. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ox. He's hot for you. Look, right? no. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Lisa, they open, open <laughs> invite any time. They got my name and number. Come on. Yeah, we know where Ox lives. If you ever yeah, want to go right. out with him. Oh, it's fucking point, baby. Let's go. This Rock. guy had a, this guy has some dough, too. Did you have a bread root? No, I was a mailman. I fucked every housewife on my route, baby. Did you? Did you? Yeah, I have nine, nine inches. Nine by six, baby. Did you really I, fuck every girl on no, your... No, not every one, but... A I had couple. A I had a husband come up to me, asked me if I fucked his wife. I said, the UPS guy, she claimed fucked her 85 times. I touched her once because she was <laughs> just <laughs> raping me in the hallway. So you I, said to him, listen, uh, maybe I fucked your wife, but the, yeah, UPS, but guy, the UPS guy, he fucked your wife 85 oh, times. Man. You deflected. Well, it, they called the UPS force. I would have said, hey, never mind the UPS guy. Let's talk about you, buddy. <laughs> the guy on the phone laughed at him. And <laughs> the UPS boss. That would called. be a good commercial for UPS. The UPS beats the Postal Service every time, even fucking your wife. Right. Yeah. How about the FedEx guy? How many times did he I, fuck her? He only had one guy, though. I spread it around. I had right. a big job, man. I was out everywhere. Were any of these wives hot? Oh, yeah. And this is before you were paraplegic, right? No, fuck up. Come on, Howard. I was a mailman for 24 years. I had fucking strong legs. I played softball. What do you think they could call me the ox? So what happened to you? I got MS. Shit. MS cut you down, man. I'm down to one left thumb. Oh. oh dear. All you can move is your left thumb? I got fingers. I, I, I can palm a basketball in the third grade. They're, they're bigger than any dick you got my fingers. Come on, Lisa. <laughs> He's back to me again. So, you, so if Lisa goes out with you, the only thing you can do is put your thumb in her. No, I can take a Viagra and fuck her in the ass anywhere. <laughs> well, anyway. Lisa, all right. So that's a good thing for you. All right, she'll be right over. All right. Thank you, Ox. I have a lot of free time. I, would, I love you. Imagine how sick you'd be if you actually ran over there. <laughs> 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 Carrie, uh, secretly give me Ox's phone number. <laughs> you know, I didn't want anybody to know. But I, need, I need it in my ass. He really turned me on. <laughs> you like my booze? I don't think women get turned on when you go, come over to my house and I'll give it to you in your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not a good line. That's not the first thing you think of as a girl, right? When you were single, what were your lines? I come over you. and I'll give it to you in your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have lines? I don't think so. I don't think I ever ran a line on a woman. And women like that. Pussy. Like I never said, oh, hey, baby. You know, I mean, I just would be like, you know, hanging out. And then I'd go, uh, and we'd talk. But I had it easy. I was famous. It was actually so easy in terms of like you didn't have people. to figure out how to get a conversation started. Right, I Love was shopping clip. for a, a, a chair for my for my uh, home when I was single, and I noticed this really good looking girl in the store. And then I'm leaving, and all of a sudden she came running over and just handed me her phone number and said, "I'm only giving you this if you promise to call me." And I went, "Wow, boy! If I had had this power <laughs> in high school, wow!" That's like like that kid Justin Bieber. He's way too young with that power. I know. And I never even called the girl. I never got that. I was so fucking busy, I never called her. And she was hot. And I sometimes think about, why didn't I call her? But it would have been creepy. I didn't even know her. I just, you know, she could be mental. Yeah, that's what Seth Rogen said. People throw him, you know, yeah. phone numbers. And you'd think you'd call, but I didn't. Because I was like, well, what do I do? Call Like, it's weird. Some chick just gave me her number. I don't even, you know. But, man, what power. I mean, my God. And you said you never had superpowers. Uh, I felt like I did then. <laughs> Vagina pussy <laughs> powers. But that was unrealistic. That's like you're famous and everyone knows you. And women feel safe with you because they know you from the radio and stuff. And they know you're, you know, you're not going to be like a serial killer. At least they figured it out. Well, they hope. They hope, yeah. Sometimes they get fooled. It's a great, that's the great power because they feel like you've already got the introduction.
They're like, okay, he seems like he's not going to kill me or, or take <laughs> yeah. me out. Well, if he does kill me, it'll be headline. <laughs> right. You know. Well, one day, Lisa, you'll find your man. You can help. Robin, too. i got to help Robin before I help you. I'll be Robin longer. <laughs> All right, I'll be number two. It was the other day someone was single, and everyone was saying, oh, well, what about him with her? And then I go, well, what about Robin? i got to go Robin. Robin's my first to go Wait to. Wait a minute. If you find somebody that you think would be compatible with Lisa, please no. don't stay. Don't concentrate on me to the point that you wouldn't make that intro. Well, why would one guy be right for Lisa, not you? Well, different people have different things they no. like and aren't compatible. Yeah. I'll let you go first. If you don't like him, then Lisa can Then you'll can pass him on to right. Lisa. Right. <laughs> There's not that many guys available. I just had a friend of mine write me an email who she said, between us, I am having the worst luck with guys. Now, this is a smoking hot chick. Smoking hot. And she said, do you know of anyone for me? And I'm like, uh, well, I'm single me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really don't. I, I don't. I don't know any guys. For, well, you for, don't go anywhere, as I was pointing out. Well, what I'm saying is, though, I go to work. I meet I meet guys here all day. The only well, guys you see these same guys. Well, that's what I'm saying. What you see me, Jim. You're Jim. I know tons of guys from the gym. All right. I brought one to Robin. She didn't oh, like him. He didn't bring anybody to me. Stop it. I did. <laughs> you, that's your craziness. Trust me, you're crazy. I know exactly what happened there, and you. Nah, you girls got Benji sitting here. You, either one of you could date him. I don't see you jumping on him. Benji wouldn't marry us, so we're not going to get started there. Lisa, would you rather kill yourself than date Benji? You know what? I got very upset about his ratings yesterday. Why? Because I spoke to the uh, shrink afterwards, and uh, he, he has very serious antisocial issues, and that really upset me. No, I yeah. don't, Lisa. Uh, that's what she too. said. I didn't reach the I was like, oh, that really got me upset. It, Lisa, sure. it absolutely did not. Said everybody. It did not reach the, it did not go over the, the it went Benji, under the You got level. antisocial. That, but you guys do not understand. That means you're independent. And listen that means to you, you now. For yourself. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Antisocial doesn't mean you're Call independent. And things. Out this it object. means you're fucked up like Hinkley. Not based on this test, Howard. It doesn't mean that's not a positive thing to be antisocial. For this test, again. No, it be. isn't. You don't know. You don't understand this test. One okay, bit. Benji, spin it the way you want. You're fucked Call up. Call the people that you're put a out the test. You're fucking nut. Call the people that I put out the test. I see you. I see it's how you Milan behave. It's called the Milan test. The I see how you behave. You're really weird. And you like that, so so embrace it. Robin's fighting that. You you I'm love not it. I'm fighting anything. What am I fighting? You don't want to be weird. He is I'm weird. Right. I am. He embraces weird. it. I'm she not wants as weird it. As him. She at least wants to be better. You go around <laughs> flaunting it, and he tries to justify. It. Right. No, no, I'm not. When when, when Lisa, what what did the doctor say? All right, I'm done. I, I, please, Lisa. Thank you. I'm glad you don't have big pussy lips. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it makes me feel better for some reason. A nice uh, blowout on your hair. You look good. She looks good. She looks good. Just don't uh, let that hair get curly. <laughs> I was at the... My sister was at the gym and saw Lisa's veal cutlet <laughs> pussy lips. <laughs> that was great. Oh. Well, Lisa is squashing that. Although, really, I mean, she should show them to you, Robin. No. And then you can show her yours. <laughs> uh... Hey, Nick, you're on the air in Lake Tahoe.